So quite often with what my work, um, I'm trying to mix traditional media with digital media. Traditional in the sense of um, the calligraphy written with a pen or a brush by hand and then scan into the computer and then perhaps using other, other uh, processes, uh, for example using the laser cutting machine to laser, laser etch uh, marks onto paper. So you, you're combining the laser etch pattern marks with the handwritten calligraphy and bring the two together. And, and the contradiction sometimes is it's quite harmonious. They, they kind of work together quite well. Um, so with the Laser Edge series, for example, where you have um, computation coding to create the Laser Edge marks on paper, and then you, you, you complement that with handwritten calligraphy words, calligraphic words. There's a difference in terms of the, um, how one feels, the, the tactile quality of, of, of the creation of work. So to me, doing a piece of work uh, with a pen or a brush on paper is far more interesting than just clicking on a mouse. Because that, that contact with the pen and the ink on paper is quite interesting because you can hear the, the pen dragging across the paper. You know, you can hear the shh sound when you write and you can, you can actually input a bit of energy in the, in the strokes. Whereas with, with digital uh, means, it's just clicking off a mouse. Yeah? Uh, it's a very different feeling. The output might be very similar, um, but the, the tactile quality is very different. So I much prefer creating things by hand. Sometimes things happen and you don't know what the outcomes would be. But then that's, that's interesting, right? So, um, I would go into the hot glass department and I would um, uh, ask the technicians to help me to draw the hot glass out of from the kiln and then, and then literally use the hot glass and burn that onto the paper to make marks on paper using hot glass. And that's a very interesting process because the, the hot glass, when it's very hot, it's, it's fairly soft and then within seconds it's, it begins to harden. So straight away the, the, the glass becomes very different and you need to know and understand how it, how it feels and how the, how the material changes and then you, 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 you then need to adapt very quickly in order to create the kind of marks that you want as well. And, and sometimes, you know, it's, it's interesting how I work is uh, I, I let the um, chance or, or um, I just let the material do the work for me. So, for example, with the paragraphic technique, sometimes I don't look for particular marks, I just let the glass do the work and, 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 and let it taste its shapes and so on. And, and these are things that, that just comes naturally or comes um, um, quite by chance. And then you say, oh, that looks interesting.